open the image that you have downloaded on your personal folder. You must be able to see this image on your workspace now. Next step is to create a shape. For this output, you need an ellipse shape. Go to your tools panel and right click the shape tool and select the ellipse tool if it is not the one selected yet. In your options bar, you will be able to see other available options for the shape tool. At this point, you can also change the color of the shape. You may now click and drag on your canvas for you to create the shape. Always switch back to the move tool whenever you want to adjust the position of your objects. Now, we will type the text. Go back to your tools panel and click the type tool. Same with the shape, you may also choose the color of your text using the options bar at the top. Click anywhere on your workspace to type the text. You may adjust the position later using the Move tool. In the Characters palette, you will see the available options for your text. You may choose the color, font style and font size. You may also adjust the distance between the characters by adjusting the tracking and leading options. Now, we will add some more effects on the text to put more emphasis to it. Make sure that the layer of the text that you want to edit is the one selected in the Layers palette. Click Layer in the menu bar, go to Layer Style and choose Stroke. Now you can adjust the layer stroke based on your preference. You can change the thickness, color and even transparency. You may also add an effect called a drop shadow. Simply click the box next to the word drop shadow to activate it. You may now adjust the effect using the options available.
Once you are satisfied with U output, you may go ahead and save your file as PNG.